Alright, you just made your new Electroform solution and spent three hours on your next masterpiece. Next step, test your solution. That way, if anything goes wrong, you'll know if it's your solution or if it was something that was done during the process, such as incorrect current settings, a faulty connection, or bad conductive paint. Making sure your solution is working properly will save you so much time and frustration. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to test plate your new Electroform solution. We'll be test plating on this one inch piece of copper. Front and back equal two square inches of surface area. You can either use thin copper sheet or foil instructions. Right now I'm gonna put the test piece in. So I'm gonna test plate this new solution. A one inch square copper piece, two sided. So it's two square inches of surface area. Put a little clip on it. So we have the stir bar going there and we have the power supply set to 0.2 amps, eight volts over here. So it's gonna be on constant current when I turn it on. I'm going to come back in maybe two minutes and see how it's going. Today we've been testing the exact solution made in this video. Electroform small tank recipe. It's been plating now for about 40 minutes and let's check it out. Look at that, it's perfect. Yeah, it's really bright, nice and smooth. It's exactly what I expected, it's exactly what you want out of a bath. But what if your results are not perfect? You have contamination, poor test results, added too much brightener. Please watch Test Plating for Nerds. Interested in electroforming leaves? I have a similar test to help you with electroforming organics. See you in the next video.